All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make chains and bracelets, and that's by printing the entire bracelet at once. I'm going to show you the entire process from start to finish. This method will save you a ton of money on labor. So if you're someone who's starting a jewelry business, this is definitely a video you don't want to miss. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. So we're going to make a Cuban bracelet. The first thing we have to do is buy the 3D file. So we're going to go on CG Trader and buy this file right here. The file already comes with everything we need. It has the lock and the pins. So now what we need to do is have a 3D designer make the files into one principal chain or bracelet. We're going to go on Fiverr, get our 3D designer and explain that we want to make this into one file and show him an example picture. It's very important to tell them to leave enough space between the links so that we can later cut the supports and the bracelet is free to move. Be sure to tell them the length of the chain or bracelet you're making and also the millimeter width. So this right here will be a 12 millimeter bracelet and you will only pay around $10 to make this file. I'm paying $20 because he's going to expedite it. So here's the finished file. Let's look at the pictures and make sure everything looks good. If anything needs to be changed, tell the designer. He will also give you the approximate weight of the finished bracelet and each gold carat. Now let's download the STL file and look at it. So here's the file. Look inside and make sure the links aren't touching. This is very important, especially if you're making fat links like Miami Cubans. So everything looks good and we're ready to print our file. We're going to use the Mars Saturn 4 printer because this printer has a large print plate and it can print this without a problem. So first we're going to prime the print plate, apply a very thin coat. And to print this we're going to use Power Resin's castable resin. This is by far my favorite resin and it prints with very high detail. You guys can go on their website which is powerresins.com and use the coupon code SLAVA20 and get 20% off your order. So the printer is going to come with a USB stick which will have the printing software on it. Which is called Cheeto Box. Let's open up Cheeto Box. First go into the resin settings and make sure you put in the correct settings for the resin you're using. You can find the resin settings on the resin website. Then we're going to take our STL file, drag it into Cheeto Box and we're going to rotate it so it stands up straight. Next click on supports, click on heavy and click add auto supports and it's going to add the supports for you. So the supports are added, now go back and if you want to print multiple bracelets you can simply copy and paste them. We're only going to print one, let's click on slice, save the file onto the USB stick. Now we're going to insert the USB stick into the printer, select the file and hit print and the printer is going to start printing the file. It's only going to take a few hours. After it's done printing, take out the print plate and here's our printed file. Inspect it to make sure there are no flaws anywhere. So this bracelet came out flawless and the next step is secured in alcohol. Take the spatula and remove the print from the print plate. And now we're going to soak it in alcohol for a few minutes. Move it around and make sure all the wet resin comes off. Next we have to wash it with warm water. Wash it thoroughly and again make sure all the wet resin comes off, especially between the links. After this, let the resin dry out, and here is our printed file. Everything looks good, make sure the spaces look good between the links, and there is no wet resin anywhere. This is very important. The next thing that we have to do is cut off the printed supports. Do this carefully and take your time. Don't pull on the supports. The more time you put into this, the less work it will be for your polisher. Also cut the small supports between the links. And here's our finished resin file. It looks a little bit rough in some places, don't worry about that. The polisher will polish that off and it's going to look perfect. The next step is to cast it. So I'm not going to cast this bracelet, but I do want to show you guys what will happen. So here's Michael from our jewelry community. He made a similar bracelet and you guys can see the unpolished piece right here with the spruce cut off. And here is the finished polished piece. You guys can print almost any type of link this way. Printing like this will save you a ton of money on labor costs because the polisher won't have to cut the links and solder them, which is very time consuming. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.